Okay, lesson number five uh, for our lockdown video series. So what we're gonna work on now is gonna be the cross, okay? The rear straight. Uh, so the way we wanna throw this cross is all based off the initial hand position. I am gonna be holding foam like we've talked about in the previous videos. My elbow's gonna be rolled in nice and tight. This is something that is habit. You need to practice this a lot. Everyone naturally likes to carry their hand either too low or they'll carry their elbow too wide. We want this elbow rolled in and our shoulder up. I'm not doing this to bring my hand to my head. Look at the space. That's not elbow in. Even though I'm covering my head, which might seem like it's a great idea, I've sacrificed my ability to hold my body position and any punch I do from here is gonna be some sort of weird chopping motion. I wanna keep my elbow in and then lift my shoulder to cover me. So I'm in position to punch because my hand is in front of my shoulder, it's in front of the drive, and I'm also in position to just shrug and bring my defense up if needed. So we have our backhand in position, our lead hand could be anywhere, but let's say it's palm in now for the time being, and all I'm gonna do is step with my lead foot and drive my backhand into the target, turning my big two knuckles right down into the punch every time. I don't need to turn my hand too much inwards, I don't wanna over flare the elbow, but at the end of the punch, my knuckles are gonna dip down like that into my target, okay? So from here, in my stance, I'm gonna turn, blast the cross, right back to my position. Blast the cross, back to my position. Look at my left hand that was hovering out a little bit, watch where it goes on the cross. It comes directly back, like we did with the jab, it comes directly back to hold the phone and cover my eyebrow. So I'm covering my body as well as covering my head. Big stretch and rotation on this cross every time. I wanna throw from my hip like this. If my hip is back, it pulls my shoulder back, which pulls the cross back. So turn that hip forward, even do that without the punch a couple of times to really drill that technique into you. From there, I turn, bang, fire the cross, back into stance, again, I move, step, cross, back into stance, all right? That's our basic cross. Once you feel comfortable throwing that nice and slow and with good technique, that's when you're gonna start thinking about adding the jab as well to make it the two. So with the two, I go jab, and as the jab starts to come back, I throw my cross. At the same time, I don't go this and then cross. That's the biggest mistake we see when someone throws the two. I wanna throw my jab and immediately follow it with my cross. Usually this means you will sacrifice some of the power of your jab, but it's not gonna be a hard shot anyway, so it's no big deal. The trick is I want you to see my jab so that you don't see my cross. So that motion there comes right behind that jab, bang, straight through. If you can get comfortable with that, your two suddenly becomes significantly more effective in terms of landing, but also because the time is shorter, it's significantly less risk. So again, you're more likely gonna throw this in a sparring scenario. Well done.